Well, residents say trash on area highways has been an eyesore for far too long. But after boatloads of complaints, state highway officials say this year the agency has more maintenance funds to work with. From bottles to plastic bags, area roadways have become congested with litter. What we'll be doing is you'll see more crews and we're dedicating resources to making sure uh, the state roadways stay clean. State highway crews recently kicked off their annual road cleanup program. Operation Clean Sweep was underway this morning with crews from the Upper Marlboro shop working along Central Avenue. And they'll just be making their way down uh, 214 corridor and picking up as much litter as they can. I can tell you that to date we've uh, picked up in two weeks. Uh, Operation Clean Sweep started late fe February, I believe. Uh, we picked up around 7,300 bags of trash already, so it's an ongoing effort and it'll keep going into mowing season. Delegate Dick Charles has been holding regular meetings with highway officials, trying to find out why some areas of Prince George's have less funding for litter cleanup, despite having more miles of roadways. It was forcing MDOT to come back with a schedule for what does the cleanup look like, what does the uh, trash pickup look like, what does the grass cutting look like, and also how are the dollars distributed amongst the different district offices and MDOT. After SHA officials announced this year's budget for litter removal would increase by 30 percent, basically doubling cleanup efforts, Delegate Charles called it a huge win. We've dedicated about seven million dollars annually to litter pickup alone. So what you'll be seeing is more crews, more uh, frequency uh, amplified and uh, more money actually, more funding dedicated to this effort. I believe uh, the, the maintenance budget for litter and mowing has increased by uh, to $30 million for this effort. And Derek Gunn says those funds should have a direct impact on Prince George's, a place he also calls home. We're going to be spreading out across the uh, state, across Prince George's County, and really trying to cover all corridors from top to bottom to make sure the litter stays clean. And due to a mild winter, uh, outside mowing will likely begin earlier than usual, so keep your eyes out for electronic signs announcing times and locations for crews out and about.